Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to understand the very, very famous hysteresis hypothesis. What does it mean by hysteresis in the arena of economics? Let's have a look into that in the session and let's get started with the same. This is identified as a property as far as economics is concerned. So we can have a variable, any variable that you like. And in this case, we can just consider about a shock. It can be a financial crisis, like a recession. or something else. So what happens is that if the variable that we have, if it is shocked away from the initial value, if at all it move away from initial value or if at all the variable is compelled to move away, if that is the case, the variable will not be able to return to the original initial point. The variable will not show any tendency to return. So this will not happen even after the shock is over. Even after the financial price is over, the variable that we have here will not come to the initial value. And this is what hysteresis tells. And this basically deals with the unemployment scenario the unemployment situation and we can have empirical evidences for this and empirical evidences for hysteresis mainly come from the European economies. European economies exhibit hysteresis especially in terms of unemployment and there have been very very important models many many models which try to explain why there exists high unemployment even after its initial cause is something that happened long past there might be some crisis that might have occurred in the distant past but still why many european economies exhibit hysteresis especially when it comes to unemployment situation and even now many many economists ask this question and there have been several several explanations to this as well as i was telling you there exists so many explanations this had come with several debates there were several debates on hysteresis there were several discussions on this there were, several, there were several explanations on this and one of the important theory that deals with the hysteresis hypothesis is known in the name of the insider outsider model <clears throat> okay first of all let me explain you who is an insider and who is an outsider just take a company okay the company will be having some present workers that means the workers who are working at in the company at present you call these people as insiders again the company might be having certain workers who were working in the past some past workers who are not present Uh, either these people might have uh, got a termination or else they might have retired whatever be the reason now the past workers are not a part of the company right now and these people are known as the outsiders some people some people might have sent out the work they also uh, form outsider here now 
Now we can explain the insider outsider model to an extent. As per the history results, when there is some past unemployment, you have some past unemployment as a result of shock. This caused the current un unemployment by turning the insiders into outsiders. So insiders means the present workers. And what is outsiders means? Past workers who are not present in the company right now as workers. So as a result of hysteresis, the present workers will be termed as past workers. And through how? Because they will be laid off or else they would be terminated or there would be a loss of job, which would be unemployment. And this is something that you can call as the unemployment trap. It's a trap that happens. So the economy would be trapped in hysteresis. It's a very, very difficult situation for the economy to come out from. Now, in if people become outsiders, that means if people are out of work, if people are out of work, what happens? They won't be able to exert a pressure on real wages. Because now they are not in the company. They are not in the company anymore. And for the very same, same reason, they are irrelevant to bargaining process because of their non-involvement in the company. They are not a part of the company. So how can they engage in bargaining with the company here? Even if they bargain, they won't be getting any benefit. So they will not involve in bargaining process. That is all regarding the idea of hysteresis and the explanation of the very same with respect to unemployment scenario and the insider outsider model. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you could understand the session. I request you to like, share and subscribe to this channel. For more videos, you can join our free telegram community by clicking onto the link given in the description box. Also, you can download the Learn Economy app again for which I'll be giving the link in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.